So on my channel, I like to refashion in clothing and this is the dress that I'm going to be refashioning. It can be mistaken to be a top, but it's not because the arm will give it, gives it away because it really tucks itself under the arm hole. So I am going to make it into this cute, amazing top. Let's get started. With any refashioning of a garment, it's always best to have some idea of what you want to keep, the features on the garment that you want to keep. And it's definitely going to be this elastication, this shearing that's happening. So I'm actually going to turn this dress upside down. So the elastication or the shearing here, it's elasticated, sits on my waistline or below my waistline. And we're going to have something like this going on. So the first thing I want to do is cut away the sleeves and let's see what interesting shape I'm left with. I'm going to be cutting about 1.5 centimeters, five eighths an inch away from the overlocked edge and maybe a little bit more when it comes to the elastication area. Hello, I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. If you enjoyed this video so far, please do give it a thumbs up. I'm here to inspire, motivate, and share ideas for refashioning clothing. So if you're into that sort of thing, it definitely is worth giving this video a like. Next thing is to try the dress on upside down. And just look at these cutouts. They are cute. So that's looking really cute. And I love what's happening here as well. That is gorgeous. Yeah, that might stay. I was thinking of turning it in to just neaten off the raw edge on the shearing section. But no, I like this. This is cute. This is why I love to read fashion and I don't know what's gonna happen. Anyway, let's get to it. So, I will be roughly just guessing how much of the fullness I want around here and then I'm going to be putting it as far up to my neck, my, my collarbone here. I'm going to put, I'm not going to put a pin, I'm going to use a wonder clip and put it there. Yeah, I think that's okay. So this is where I'm going to be cutting in there. So I'm happy with the way it's turning out at the moment. I'm loving these cutouts. And I'll show you the next step. There's my marker. So I'm going to get some pins. I'm going to cut this section away. So the mid is going to be some waste when it comes to the sleeve. So that's going to be a scarf. So I'll put that to one side. Turn to the wrong side. I'm going to be creating some armor openings along here. This is where the neckline is going to be. So let me get my tape measure. So here we have the armhole and the neckline, put that away and let's focus on. So here we have one sleeve, I'm going to be cutting along here and also the bottom.
focusing on the collar by the center. Bring in the top. So I'm going to go either side of that pin roughly about there and I'm going to attach just the corner to there and place a pin and repeat it on the other side. And then sew. And repeat it to the back. Just do a recap of the new top. So we have cutouts at the side. I kept this frilly bit on because I think it's so cute, but I did cut away the one that was on this side on here. I just think it looks better if I've got the lower locking stitch showing because it kind of ties it in with the shearing that's happening at the bottom. So come towards the top, we have the raglan style armhole cut out and then we have this collar with this cowl effect that's happening at the front and also the back. Let me show you the back and in order for me to be able to hold the collar into place I've created ties and we are done. It's all just tied into place like so. And all that needs to happen is for me to try it on. So that has turned out really amazing. I love it! It used to be a dress and now it's this gorgeous cute top. What can I say? Um, so if you enjoyed this video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Please do share. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And if you're not and you want to leave a comment in the description, please do so. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.